Good afternoon. I'm still continuing with the Bible daily dips on Job. We reach Job 18 now. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The inevitable fate of the wicked. Bildad of Shua spoke next. He said, What prevents you others from saying something? Think, for it is our turn to speak. Why do you regard us as animals, considering us no more than brutes? Tear yourself to pieces if you will, but the world for all your rage will not turn to desert. The rocks will not shift from their places. The light of the wicked must certainly be put out. The lamp that gives him light cease to shine. In his tent, the light is dimmed. The lamp that shone on him is snuffed. His vigorous stride loses its power. His own designs falter, for into the net his own feet carry him. He walks into the snares. A spring snap grips him by the heel. A trap snaps shut and he is caught. Hidden in the ground is a snare to catch him. Pitfalls lie across his path. Terrors threaten him from all sides, following him step by step. Hunger becomes his companion. By his side, disaster stands. Disease devours his skin. Death's firstborn gnaws his limbs. He will be torn from the shelter of his tent. And you will drag him to the king of terrors. You can live in the tent, since it is no longer his. And brimstone will be scattered on his sheepfold. Below his roots dry out and his branches are blasted above. His memory fades from the land. His name is forgotten in the countryside. Driven from the light into the darkness he is banished from the world. Without issue, all posterity among his own people. Or a single survivor where he used to live. His end appalls the west and fills the east with terror. Such indeed is the fate of the places where wickedness dwells, the home of everyone who knows not God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So the next time we'll be looking at Job spoke next, faith at its height in total desertion. Oh, that will really be sad. That will really grab us, won't it? <laughs> okay, right. Thank you. God bless.